Okay, well, this is part two of this uh, jewel thief um, study that I, I thought I would look at again because of what's going on at the uh, forum with the discussion about this. And I worked a lot on these things uh, years ago and then went off into other things. And this is one of the projects I did where I used a um, uh, telephone cord. A uh, telephone cord that had the the multi wires in it and rigged it up as a jewel thief and it's um, as I recall this one's uh, magnetic too this is also steel wire and uh, anyway this is the uh, jewel thief running here uh, on a double A somewhat depleted double A battery I have it kind of a darkened room so you can see the LED because there was discussion on my last video whether the radio was actually doing the interaction with the jewel thief. And um, or was it the uh, loop antenna tuner that was doing anything, or was it just affecting the radio basically in some sort of a weird transmitter receiver circuit? And uh, I wanted to look at it, and it is uh, it is this loop tank circuit with the capacitor in parallel with the loop that interacts with the coils on the jewel thief that alters the uh, the rate. Um, um, frequency rate on the oscillator and uh, I've got it here blinking actually and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tune this and you'll see this come on brighter as I tune it see that and what I'm doing is I'm tuning uh, the circuit with the loop antenna it's not the radio there's no radio near it right now and I'm actually adjusting the uh, frequency with this picofarad capacitor and the loop antenna interacting with the coils of the jewel thief. Now if I get this set to where I've detuned the circuit and that's what I'm basically doing here I'm detuning it. If I take this and close this up and take it away watch the LED there it comes on bright. Now that's where this loop antenna is very interesting how it interacts. Now I'm just going to put this up to the coil here and it's going to detune that again. See that? And that's what's interesting how these uh, these coils can interact like that. They can interact in such a way that they don't have to be connected. They can work inductively. And I thought that was very interesting that a loop uh, AM loop antenna tuner can interact with a jewel thief and one of the guys mentioned that it would be interesting if it didn't interact and I think he's spot on there is what I've got here is just basically a, an induction situation working with a capacitance in a tank circuit scenario and what you end up doing is you end up making a rather interesting transformer <laughs> using basically air core and uh, I just thought that was really interesting okay I'll put the radio in here again so you can hear it with the radio. I've got it over here. Okay, that's at a high frequency. Let me detune it now. And the other thing that I, I, the other video was about was whether I was actually picking up um, ambient uh, energy in the air off RF or mains uh, input or whatever. And if it's, if it's actually happening, it's very, very small amount. And several of the guys mentioned that, that if you're getting anything, it's going to be such a small amount, you're probably not even going to see it in a setup like this. You'd have to have a very, very sensitive signal meter and you could look at it just with that. That right there would probably, uh, in, in a tuning situation, tune to the right frequency that the smog was at, the electronic smog. You'd see it uh, on a signal generator with that. But I don't think you're going to see it on a jewel thief circuit. But you are going to see this interaction, which I thought was very, very interesting, that you can, you can interact with the jewel thief with a... Uh, tunable tank nearby and uh, I thought that was rather interesting so anyway thanks uh, for all the guys that uh, did put input in the comments it's this stuff that I really enjoy is the feedback from everybody who knows what's going on 
and uh, comments, and it helps me. I learn that way. Thanks a lot.